Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, which boss was it that we fought? Went out and we fought a boss. I have prepared ourselves a party for our next boss. We are getting ready to go out there. Went to the courtyard last time as well. That was pretty good. Uh, and yeah, we had a, we had a good time. Uh, but I've, I've created a party here uh, and I've actually got a few more dire entries. Uh, friendly Shep has joined in today and written quite a lot for this episode so that we can get right into those right off the bat to start out the episode first of all we have one from rune arberg tier um i've recently been having the, these horrid nightmares again that those that the foreshadowed the horrid beast that massacred my party i'm very worried for future expedition into the beast's realm i should go to see isaac about my condition it's uh, it's looking pretty scary. It's looking like the the Swine King is uh, is is about to rear his ugly head. Uh, so we do have to be very aware of that possibility. Um, we have also plenty of dire entries that he's written for characters from previous episodes, so we can get into those as well. Um, I'll, I'll read a few of them now, and then we'll do a few more as we get into the episode, because we do have quite a lot here. As I said, all of these are by Friendly Shep. We have one here from Helion. This is before the uh, mission in Part 35. The creatures in that place, the Wield, I've heard their horrors beyond imagination, yet no matter how dangerous they are, I can't wait to see how they fall beneath my blade. Very nice on that one. Another one here from Rinaldius the Dragon Slayer. Rinaldus, sorry, the Dragon Slayer after part 36. I write this in full of... I'm, write, I'm writing this full of hope that I make steps close to regaining my honour. As we drive back the hordes day by day, dreary night by oh so dreary night, they start to thin until a new, vicious, larger beast... The same as the last, only stronger. It seems to bring them back every single time. I can't help but feel we're coming to a sort of final battle. I hope we have the strength to endure it. Oof, very interesting. I'm liking the, the way this is going, but we have a party prepped here. We have um, Henry Jackal here. Um, I sort of was taking on a suggestion of TEA here that, for example, we, we, take, a look at, we take a look at this here. He has a very, very wide damage range, but he also has something very interesting. I didn't know this until recently, but apparently crits always take your maximum damage from your damage range and use that and times it by 1.5. So what we've done is we've stacked crit on him with these two here. So we're up to 6.5 crit, so he has 1.5 base with the ring. Then when we're above 74 light, which is almost always, we're at plus 3. And then we have finisher plus five crit after the first round so he's up to 11.5 crit chance which is really 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 nice um and we're going to be able to do a hell of a lot of work with that uh then second up we have berthold and um, he is going to be doing a few different things we've got him with the um the shield spike and the crushed hemlock this is for both bleed and blight on the enemies um got on birth there of course his repost we're not going to be using this in the actual swine fights because we're going against the uh the swine king and if you remember if you kill his little buddy little wilbur you're in for a whole world of hurt so we're not going to be using um any sort of repost during that fight uh the same goes for joseph hair here he does have a repost he is going in with the basically full healing setup he's going to be doing some blighting but for the most part he is going to be um, just healing the group with infusion. Uh, and also he's going to be using this to clear corpses and heal up as well. And then we have Rune, um, who is set up with the bleed, um, Elizabeth's head, and the world. Which is just nice for the scouting chance and monster surprise chance. One thing you will notice about this party as well. 56 base HP. 49 base HP. 50 base HP. Like, jo Joseph Hare doesn't have as much because he's a healer, but these three are tanky boys. Very, very tanky. So, we're going to have a really nice time with them. And if you actually remember, um, Rune and Berthold are both from the same group. Their backstories are quite heavily intertwined. Both two of uh, Friendly Shep's written characters. If you remember, Rune uh, was actually out camping with his group and was attacked by the Swine King, or at least one of the Swine King versions. Um, and his entire party was slain or so he thought until Berthold appeared in the hamlet showed his face and this is their first mission reunited and out together so i'm really really excited to bring these guys out yeah uh, another thing as well we do have the chance that we'll be coming across um this guy here 
the thing from the stars. Luckily, though, we do have armor piercing in our base attack as Henry Jekyll, so we'll be taking him out. Uh, also, I reckon Joseph Hare and um, Dr. Henry Jekyll have a quite a lot to talk about. Of course, in his barbarian form, he does not know that he was a doctor. It is a completely different personality, so to say. But, even still. Uh, so, we're going to jump right in and uh, get into this run. I'm going to take quite a lot of stuff with us here because um, I'm medium prepared for this, so to say. Uh, so, let's take, like, 20 food. Let's take five shovels. I'm going to take five of pretty much everything. Just in case. Um... We'll take, we'll take all of the torches because we want to keep up that 74 light or above. Uh, and I think that's everything. We don't need to bring anything else, I don't think. We could take the summoning pages because we, we are observed currently. Um, but I still, I'm uns I know what they do in a way. I know that they summon some kind of boss or creature to fight. I don't know if I want to fight it, though. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know how how deadly it is or how big of a chance we have of killing it. So I probably won't bring those for now, considering we're on a boss mission. But maybe we can go out and hunt whatever beast this is coming up soon. We have a few people that are um, observed, so to say, or stalked. Um, so we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. This does mean we're going to come across a few more of the different enemies, but we'll see. Attempts at summoning were crude, and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. The best results came from pigs, whose flesh is most like that of man. Interesting. Uh, we have another diary entry here from Isaac, the Plague Doctor, before the mission in Part 37. I've gained a new mask. I quite like the look of it. The creature I made out of is still on the dissection table back in my quarters. The creatures of the darkest dungeon are very strange. They do not seem to have the most presumed necessary organs. This one had muscle, bone, a heart, a brain, yet nothing else. It's as if it was being controlled by some sort of energy, giving it life to function. I must explore more of this. Very interesting. So this... Honestly, I think this will be an absolute landslide victory, I'm going to say. I feel like just Henry with the crit that he has is going to be dealing so much insane damage that we're probably going to just demolish every, every time. Um, <laughs> going to absolutely demolish them. I didn't just walk into a trap. You saw nothing. I keep trying to stop before, but because we're so fast, like because we have the speed up mod, I end up walking into them quite often because the, the guys carry their momentum into the uh, trap. So I always try to stop before it to check the curia, um, the, the disarm chance, sorry, and I always miss it. It's very annoying. Well, here we've got our first battle. These guys, like I said, should be chopped down in an instant. We got quite high speed across the group as well. Almost always we're going to be going first as um, Henry here because he has seven speed. And we are going to cut you down immediately. Or we're going to miss. Or we're going to miss. That is rather annoying. Uh, we'll definitely set up that. There's a crit there. And once we start using our repost here, we're going to be bleeding everything. Okay, can we stop missing, guys? He only has 14 dodge. It's not exactly huge. But there you go, we see that massive damage coming out there. A little bit of stress on us. Luckily, they're all attacking the, the exact right person right now, which is nice. Um, we could go with Sunder here, which would hit both and knock them back. Let's just do that. Henry, please. <laughs> Henry, my guy, could you not miss? Oh, God, this guy's so dead. Um, yeah, you keep attacking the like exactly the wrong person. Wow. The repost. The repost is amazing. Um, we don't actually need to do any healing as you here. Please let us get some heals off, though. I don't want to get no healing off. Um, I'm just going to take out a corpse here. I really even shouldn't have taken out a corpse, to be honest. Of course you hit that for a crit, by the way. Good job. Healing for 13 there. Smacking this guy for more blight. More bleed. <laughs> It's just, this this trinket setup we have right now is absurdly powerful, I have to say. We have uh, an absolutely devastating setup in the, uh, in the fact that we have all this crit on you and all this blight and bleed to be able to put forward onto the enemy. It's, 
it is frankly some of the most insane DPS we've ever seen. Um, TEA was pointing out just the other day just how much damage this party does. Well, not this party, but we do as a whole. It's it's quite insane. We got a sickness there, which could be a problem. We'll just check that out and make sure it's not... It's minus 50 disease resist. It means we're going to get more diseases as we go, but it's nothing... It's nothing terrible. We'll heal you guys up to full. Spend a bit of time doing that. Ball and chain. That's going to hit us back. And it's going to stun us. Not great. Not terrible. These guys can be really problematic. They're going to do their hook it where it hurts and be hitting us for some some pretty hard numbers, which is annoying. Uh, do you know what? Let's take the time to just get a heal off here. Pretty much everyone's back to full. You are cut down where you stand. There's those crits I'm talking about. They're going to hurt. You're dead, though. Don't try and hit the guy that's going to repost you with his shield. Berthold knows what he's doing, and he will cut you down. Of course, the problem with Henry Bean, if he doesn't crit, he can hit for some very, very, very low numbers, and that can be a little disheartening, but it happens. Oh, nice dodge, and you're dead. Honestly, this trinket that we bought for him is absurdly powerful. Extra damage, accuracy, and crit on the repost. That's just bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. So these two have kind of a, a, a somewhat PTSD for camping, I'll, I'll say. Um, we probably want to camp nonetheless. Let's just check out what camping skills we actually have available to us, shall we? Okay, we do have Prevent Nighttime Ambush. It'll apply a little bit of stress. Yeah, let's 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 camp, shall we? Let's camp. Okay, everyone's healed up. Um, let's go with first of all. Let's do this. People are gonna take a little bit of extra stress, but that's fine. Uh, you can prep this. You can prep this definitely. Please see you got the crit. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> of course, the guy I didn't want to get the crit got the crit. Uh, sorry. The guy that I did want to get the crit didn't get the crit. Okay, so this should be the boss right here. This was a very, very short dungeon for, for what we were looking at here. I thought it was going to be longer. Really? A trap? Straight away. Uh, we'll see, though. This this should be interesting. Uh, what I'm going to do, just in case, just to make sure I don't accidentally use that, I'm going to go and put this on. Um, just to buff up Dr. Henry Jekyll here. Uh, and also, even if we can't use it, I'm going to put this on. Just to make sure we don't accidentally use repurse on anyone. I want to be 100% sure that that's something we don't do. Uh, let's take a little bit of food in here. Right, let's try this out. Let's see how this goes. Here he is. Little Wilbur himself. Nice dodge. 24 damage on the first hit. Not bad at all. We're both marked. Um, let's buff everyone up. Nice shield throw. Get that bleed on there. Get the blight on there as well. He's going to be bleeding and blighted quite a lot throughout this. Wow. That's a big crit, boy. That is a big, big crit. Thank God we brought double the healing here. Okay. That was a crit I wasn't quite expecting. Um, let's get some healing on you. We want to be using his... Um, let's go bolster here. We want to be using his um, poison as much as possible, honestly. Because the thing is with his poison... Wow, big crit. Um, the thing is with his poison, it keeps buffing his healing for plus two every single time, which is incredibly powerful. There's a stun on, um, on you. That's not terribly problematic. Five damage... Is a little problematic. I'd, I'd like to avoid five damage, I have to say. But doing that, stacking that up, gives us that additional healing skill and additional health healed. It doesn't last long, but it's, it's worth getting out when we can. That's another 12 damage. Blight and bleed stacking up. Wilbur's he's, he's screaming. Wilbur's screaming. Still no crits with Henry, which is kind of why we brought him. So I'd like to see some crits from him, please. Uh, just to make sure everyone's topped up. Um, I'm gonna buff everyone again with this. I think, I think using Berthold to, to buff everyone is a little better. Wild flailing, bit of damage, nothing, nothing terrible. Another squeal. At least they're not hitting Henry, who's our main damage dealer. If he could hit for more than ten, or he could just miss. 
Henry, you're kind of this Groose lifeline right now. You need to bring yourself off whatever high horse you're currently on. On uh, Again, he hit... He crit for 25 again. What the hell? This is bad. This is not going... This is not going as I planned it, people. Hit for more than 10. Please. Please hit for more than 10. Oh, my God. This is stressful. Oh, you hit for 19. What? The hell? I'm gonna guard you because you keep getting smacked about. Literally, our our backline off healer is hitting for more right now. There we go. That's what we like to see. The end is near. The end is near. We probably got another obliter at the mass is coming, but you're pretty much dead here. Yes. Wow, that actually that got close. We we have we have a lot of damage. But that did get close. Wilbur, you're going down. I know that he can still do some problematic things here. He shouldn't kill any of us, though. Nice bit of healing coming in. Good thing about Rune, by the way, that I never mentioned. This heal is off maximum HP. So having three people with incredibly high maximum HP leads to some pretty, pretty crazy things going on with the healing amounts. Oh my god. Honestly, Henry, you have been, in a word, pretty useless this mission. You've hardly critted at all. You've critted once on a dead body, actually. Just the once. Um, and you've been hitting for, like, nine. You can hit for 24. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, Henry didn't quite perform the way we hoped him to, but that's the risk you, you take when you bring someone with a damage range that's that, that's that absurd. That's kind of the barbarian's way. Uh, but it, that was a pretty decent boss fight. We got through that in a decent amount of time. Was a little, was a little scared for Henry, honestly. A little scared. He got, he got hit real hard. Whoa. We just got our first champion level. I'm not quite sure. He did get a lot more XP. Um, I'm guessing that's because of one of his um, quirks. But we have our first champion level. Interesting. Migraines. Definitely want to get rid of that. Tapeworm. Probably want to get rid of that as well. Let's go and take a look at the uh, sanatorium and get rid of some of these people. What is this? Purchase crystal. Gaze into the deep shimmering core of the common... A comet fractures can bring sense of peace. Purchase crystal. For 30? I don't know what this is. Is that 30 of these shards? Because that's a that's that's a lot of our money. Um I don't know if we want to do that. I, I'm conflicted. I have no idea. Right, first of all, let's um, sort these guys up here. Let's get rid of all the trinkets. Let's reorganize those. And you took on a few diseases, didn't you, boy? So we're going get, to be getting rid of migraines first. And we'll get rid of this on you as well, Tape Worm. We don't want, we don't want that. Hopefully, that'll get rid of all the diseases. We do have extra chance to get rid of multiple diseases at once. Extra damage versus Fnatic. Mm, I don't even know what Fnatic's particularly are. Um, extra resolve XP. That's good. That's actually really good. I'm going to buy that because having less resolve XP is pretty good on some characters, especially ones like Sunasis. We could make pretty good use out of that uh we do have a fury coming on um at level four that's very nice and he's back he is back praise be right we we, we literally have a diary entry that was written like uh, just a few days ago in preparation for this happening and it has happened so first of all let's take on our new fury um so this is mars Mars has been training, as you can see. He is the red-haired gentleman. And this one can go. But we have 
had some uh, had some experimentation, we'll call it, with some of the dark arts. Isaac, after after the death of um, after the death of Willow, Isaac went and collected the pieces, and he's been keeping them in his workshop. And he's been he's been working, he's been playing around, and you may find out that. There has been some developments. Something has happened. And let's go right into that, shall we? Finally, I was wondering when you were awake. You were struck down in battle against the Collector. I've never liked him personally. He seems kind of stuck up. Anyways, your body has resurrected itself due to the pa wonderful power blessing I gave you during your time of creation. So you're welcome. You're currently stuck in a locker that the plague doctor named Isaac, that you are that was eyeing you up and keeping track of you, has been claimed, and you have been claimed for what he calls research purposes. You exploded when you died, and so that would explain the bucket your foot here is stuck in. He has you in pieces. You should probably hit that locker door a few times and let him know you're in there. Take your time though. You still need to recover your strength. What is my name? You miss it. Oh, silly me, I forgot to tell you. My official name is the Crypt Emperor, but you can call me Adam. And that's actually a diary entry from the Crypt Emperor himself, Adam. Uh, it is sort of a voice within Willow's head, within the Dark Wraith race. He is their creator. He gives them power. He brought them to life. And his life force, his will, was still in Willow when he exploded, when he died to the Collector. Isaac, of course had um, collected him up and um, kept the parts and you were showing that you're still in there and he is I Isaac has spent time and reanimated brought you back from the dead and Willow Willow is back Willow is back right f straight off the bat I'm noticing that he's getting minus He's, he's getting minus 10% HP from a quirk. Oh, it's this one here, Lyth. Uh, that's fine. Um, we're going to get rid of pressure to succeed uh, straight off the bat. Like, I'm literally going to throw him in there and get rid of that immediately. Uh, but otherwise, that's really good. Also, another thing that we're going to do as well. Um, where's Henry? Uh, let's just sort by level again. Where is Henry? I think, he, I think Henry made it up to level 4, didn't he? He did. Okay. He's in there right now. I do want to uh, lock in that quirk of his. But yes, Willow, Willow is back. He has been resurrected. Um, you may wonder why he appeared on a stagecoach. That is to make the townsfolk not think quite as much of it. He had an agreement with Isaac after being brought back. That he'd go a little down the road and hop on the carriage and jump out. And... Even though many people knew of his death, he said that he got away and he came back. Some people don't. Some people are fine with it. Many people are fine with it, in fact. But some people aren't quite... It doesn't quite sit right, the dark arts that Isaac practiced to recreate Willow. And some people find Willow himself pretty unsettling. Um, and he has been brought back. I'm super happy to see him come back. A very exciting time for... for uh, for this series. Very exciting time indeed. Uh, right. What do we want to do next, then? What do we want to do next? I really don't know what this means, and I really feel like I should purchase it. But at the same time, I don't know what that is, and I don't know if it's worth 30 shards. It might. It doesn't even look like shards. It looks like dust or something. Like little little fragments. Maybe I can't even afford it. Maybe I don't have that currency yet. I, I don't know. Um, but it's interesting. Either way, we'll prep for our next mission. Uh, we're going to go into the curve, and we're just going to go on um, a short. Should we do short veteran? Let's do. Let's do. Um, we could do a medium veteran to the sunken crew. What do we got here? Um, double crit chance versus marked consume mark. Interesting. Uh, rescuer extra. Very interesting. And the succubus sharp edged ring. We could go for sunken crew. Um, let me let me get put a team together, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've prepared a group. We are pretty much ready to go. Um, we have a pretty interesting one here. 
We have Nina, who is just excellent in every way. I, I love Nina. Um, I love the class, and I love her as a character. Uh, she is coming out with Picture the Face and Lunge. They're going to be our main two skills. Interestingly enough, in fact, in fact, I may have made a mistake here. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna set her up with Lunge, but I've just realised that Lunge won't work, will it? <laughs> um. Yeah, Lunge. I don't think Lunge will actually work. So, basically, the idea was Holy Lance, and then she goes back, and then she lunges, but she won't be back far enough. I was going to have this mixed with the 29% damage versus Blight to um, to use the Crush Hemlock, but I don't know. Is that going to work? Because she's not going to be able to lunge forward. Hmm... This might not work the way I wanted it to. How flexible are you? Not very. Okay, maybe Nina's actually not going to be able to come with us then. I was really hoping she would be able to, because I really do like Nina. Uh, but she might not be the best. I need I need someone that, that can move with their basic attack. Let's, let's rethink this. Immediately upon showing you guys the build, I'm like, wait a minute. This doesn't work. <laughs> uh, let's let's find something that's a little more appropriate. All we need is someone with a basic attack that moves them forward one. Doesn't matter what sort of attack it is. There you go. We could bring Kaminari. Kaminari would work relatively well with this group. I think he's actually been out with Renault before. Um, that could be. That could work. Let's just check out any any other potential. Potential people that would join, uh, but no, I, th I think Kaminari. I think Kaminari will work very, very well. Uh, sorry, Nina. I just, like I was just saying, I really do love Nina as a class, but at the same time, I also really love things that actually work the way I wanted them to. So this will allow us to use Holy Lance. We've got something very interesting with Renault here, like very interesting. Unfortunately, it's still a Klepto. I need to get rid of that, but. We've got some really interesting stuff. So we have the Holy Lance, which is going to be our main form of attack, even if we're not getting that extra unholy damage. Then he's got 20% unholy... 20% uh, damage on Holy Lance, plus 3 speed if light's above 75, plus 6 crit if light's above 75, plus another 4 speed for 7 speed if light is above 75, or 74 in this case, plus another 3 crit, so plus 9 crit, then the minus chance for party surprise. And then on top of that, he gets plus 10 damage. So he is the true warrior of the sunlight. Then William has... Will, William has been pestering the townsfolk, literally anyone he can, for weeks now. Absolutely weeks, because he wants to venture down to the curve. No one wanted to bring him, because he was mad. He was going crazy. They could tell there was something wrong with him. The, the, um, the curse that he's got here had uh, had settled in and he was he was driving everyone up the wall so to say he was really bothering pretty much everyone he spoke to but on the other side of that he, people people know that he has a purpose and they eventually had to give in and then we're also bringing manold as well just because i i haven't really used manold as much as i wanted to and he could be pretty good he has some pretty interesting um stun synergies uh, even though this repost does bleed um it can stun, and it makes his blunderbuss better. So we're going to try this out and see how he goes. He does have extra damage crit and accuracy versus size 2, which is exactly the enemy they're going to be fighting. The boss will be of size 2. So we'll jump into this and see how this goes. Um, we're just going to bring 20 food. We'll bring all 24 torches. I'm good with that. We'll bring 4 shovels. 4 of them. 4 of them. 4 of them. Four of them, and four of them. Good, good. Let's embark in and see how the sunken crew goes for us, shall we? I employed a crew of particularly unsavory mariners, who for a time sailed the four corners at my behest, retrieving many valuable artifacts, relics, and rare texts. Predictably, they increased their tariffs to counter my intense stipulations of secrecy. Such resources had long been exhausted, of course, and so I prepared an alternative payment. 
Ooh, interesting. Uh, we also have another diary entry here, again by Shep, and this is for Red a Harlot, after the mission on part 38. Of all the monsters in the Warren, I find the bandits are the most annoying. People like them are always muddying up my plans as a work in my work as an assassin. And they just all they're just all small brained, yet vicious as ever. Even worse, they don't take care of their weapons properly at all. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Right, let's jump in here. I reckon this group's going to be pretty strong. Um, Kaminari is, of course, he's amazing. I think the monk Kaminari, he just, he has some crazy stuff going on. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just, Renault, I, I can't, I can't even put words to how amazing he currently is. He is going to be schwacking things left, right, and center. Oh, we got some uh, bloodsuckers here. Interesting, um, but we'll be starting off with a Holy Lance. Or we won't, because I've messed this up slightly. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to need to rejig people. I'm going to need to rejig people. Alright, let's try and stun both of you, nice one. Yeah, I uh, I have to say, I, am, I made a mistake here. I definitely could have brought Nina now, thinking about it. But, I guess we'll get to that. Unfortunate miss there. Okay. Please don't give him the Crimson Curse as well. He's already got the Embrace. Oh my god. These guys scare me a lot. Um, nope, let's just do the debuff. It damages everyone, it debuffs everyone. You're taking on all the stress, buddy. Nice kill, man old. Right. Strike you down. Nice crit there. Beautiful. And... I'll kick you in the face. That blight. <laughs> I love the blight on a kick. It's so funny. I'll try and take you out. I probably should have just taken you out, honestly. Thirst. Nope. Oh, no. Die. Small beast. <sighs> These things scare me to look at, honestly. I'm just going to try and kill him as fast as possible. Gather the blood. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna rejig people and see what I can do. Rejig people, so we're gonna have to put you here, you here, and you here, I think. I think this'll work. So right. Let's just rejig all of your skills. Um Melee only versus stunned. It only works versus stunned. Interesting. Okay. Okay, this this could work quite well actually. So we 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 keep parrying stance. So I think we go visceral attack as our first. Then we go the shaman burn blade as our second. We go blunderbuss as our third, and parrying stance as our fourth. And I think that should work out fine, right? We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Wasn't what I planned for, but it will work nicely, I think. Okay, nice surprise. We can do that. Let's just do the party heal here. Okay, so... I'm noticing a trend here. I keep doing things wrong. Don't worry about it, though. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Finish you off. Does debuff us with minus 20 healing received? That's fine, though. We can deal with that. Resisted the stun, which is nice. Please don't give, give us a disease. That's a, a pretty pretty mean debuff here. Um, yeah, I'm going to punch you forward. Okay, now the cycle starts. That blight's going to be nice. Nice resist yet again. There we go, lovely. Whoa. I gotta say that was strange that it like absorbed him into the spot. Nice. We're gonna be reducing speed here pretty heavily, but that's mostly fine. And that's what we like to see. Whoa, what we got what we got there? The fortifying garlic. Very nice. So that's another disease resist trinket we could take on board to get things done. No, don't reshuffle default party at party audio moron. Whoopsie. Didn't mean to do that, right. Uh, 
you go you can stay there you two need to nope you two actually need to stay the way you were okay right we'd, we'd prefer considering you've got so much speed for you to act first please um i will actually it's three rounds it's gonna fall off us pretty quickly okay Ooh. this is i think this is new big crab boy have we seen big crab boy before Problem is, he can only do healing from back here, but that's not terrible. Uh, let's just buff the party, because this gives us a pretty nice buff. Even if it does lower our speed. You need to get rid of this. Um, let's set up this. Our repost mantra. And immediate crits. Let's set this up. The repost for them stuns. You made a bad choice there, buddy. Bad choice there. Ooh, that was uh, that was a good choice. <laughs> you pulled him forward. Didn't want that, but whatever. Nice hit, nice stun. On a 70% resist as well. Very nice. We're just going to move you forward. Please don't kill my healer. <laughs> He's all I've got. Okay, taking this guy down right now. We're going to heal ourselves here. Nice bit of stress relief as well alongside it. Luckily, his call to the sea hasn't negatively affected the group too badly yet, but I know it's not always going to be that way. Hey, you're dead now. Even with one HP, you are toasted. Sing a jaunty tune for us, sir. Um, hmm. So, j just, for, just for science's sake, can it just not can it just not hit against stunned? Or is it just you only get those buffs below versus stunned? I'm not 100% sure how that works. That's a that's a hearty crit, Renault. That's a hearty crit. What I like to see. Okay. You've got um, quick to run. Always six close to the exit. Rather annoying, but not terrible. Yeah, it seems that I can't hit with that. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. I don't know. Okay, double action against um, Renault here. That's not great. One healing. I'm just stalling out the fight right now. Um. Okay, that killed him. I wasn't meaning to kill him, but I'll take it. Inspect it. Hey. Oh, wait, no. I don't know what that did. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but I actually don't have any idea what that did. Right. Some more scouting's nice. Ooh, we just found a secret room back here as well. Lovely. Let's just head back here real quick. Go into this first. Open that up. What have we got here then? What have we got here? We got ourselves a head. Um, ooh. Okay. Maxwell's head. This is going to be very good for our jester. Uh, we've also got two of the trapezoid things. Uh, let's get rid of... I don't want to get rid of medical herbs, really. Let's get rid of holy water. We don't really need holy water too much. And we'll get rid of the jades as well. As much as they're nice. Very nice start there. Very nice start. Done. Thank God. <laughs> Leave it alone, Renault. Leave it alone. You don't need to touch the thing, buddy. You don't got to touch it. We've actually got quite a far path to travel here. Um, this is healing, so I'll take it. Oh, it's only stress healing. Okay. Normally it has a different symbol when it's stress healing. Thought it was regular healing. That's fine. Not a big problem. Yeah, I like keeping our uh, herbs on us for moments like that. Definitely want to take the emeralds. Um, I'll get rid of bandages. Citrine's fine to leave. Uh, but yeah, I like keeping them on us because um, you can also get rid of some really horrible quirks as well. Quite easily. I've got a battle here. These guys shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Holy Lance to start. Oh my god. Absolute demolition. Absolute demolition. Very, very nice. Nice bit of healing there. Blunderbuss. Wow. That hit hard. Okay. Manold, you, you've been... You've been practicing your hunting skills, haven't you? You've been looking up and researching with... Um, with six, methinks. Because you are you are really doing some crazy stuff right now. 
I really want to know. Yeah, it, it's, it's got a 115 accuracy base, so it can't be missing like it has been. We do get that debuff, but that's fine. Nice strike. We get a bit of blood. I don't need it. I'm risking it for a biscuit. We don't need the blood. Oh, please don't. Not after I just got rid of the blood. <laughs> don't do it to me. Not after I just got rid of the blood, guys. Come on. Don't be so mean. We might be okay. You have to remember that I have reduced chance of getting the disease. Um, because of a mod. Although, wow, you just took a lot of damage, dude. Uh, that may be changing soon. Yeah, oh, oh shit. He might die. No. Leave him be. I just realized just how fucked he is. <laughs> Holy shit. He's got blight and bleed. Oh my god. This could be bad. This could be real bad. How did you take so much damage, dude? We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to do that right. Wow. How much maximum HP do you got? This this battle's not going not going too hot, honestly. This this heckin' thing. Wow. This thing's strong. Don't do that. Ow. Right. Stun you, good. Good, good, good. Take you out as well. Very nice. Stop bleeding. Please don't do anything stupid. Okay, good. You just stressed everyone out. How do you only have 26 maximum HP? Okay, you only have you don't have much either, to be fair, so can't complain too much. Of course I get rid of my bandages and then run into just tons of bleed. Just so much bleed. We need to get rid of you now. Bombing run. I really don't like the sound of that move. We're going to start group healing here, so I'm hoping that we can uh, finish some of these off and do that. Can't believe how much bleed we just took on then. Please don't. Oh, leave him alone. He's a simple man. Why'd I even use that attack? I know it doesn't work. Okay, we need that group heal. Can't hit you with Holy Lance. Good. I mean, it stalls us for a bit more healing, which is nice, but... Still, we could get the disease here if we're not careful. Please go down. There you go. Oh my god, that was, that was a stressful little fight there. Stressful little fight. Still don't really need the blood. I should take I should really take it though, shouldn't I? But I'm a I'm a bad boy. I'm not going to. Okay, crests. I should also take those too. This is a tough this is a tough expedition. Really is. Um Don't know what to go for here. I'm gonna leave them. I, I don't like doing that, really. We still got so far to go as well. So far to go. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Right, hop in here. Still got plenty of food going on, that's good. Um yeah, we're good to go in here. Oh my god. Definitely get rid of the bombing guys straight away. That was dumb as that was the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. I just moved this guy to the front. When it makes no sense to do so, we're going to have to play this one a little wrong. It's fine. It just means we we'll, won't we'll get to use Holy Lance, really. All that much. You need to die, dude. You need to die real fast now. Because if you blow up, you do insane damage. So please just die. Okay, you're dead. Okay, we're going to have to play this entirely wrong. Um, you're dead and stunned, so you can't do anything. So we might as well just go for the other enemies now. Okay, good. Right, we need some group healing here. Let's get a bit of that going on. Oh. You just got yourself killed for a bit of stress. Nice. See with Slash. Still need more healing out here. I, I, I didn't realise, like, how, how low our groups 
maximum HP is and some of the, these two here have really really low maximum HP. We got out of that fine, but that was a little that was a little hairy. Um, let's move you back up to the front. That's fine. You can take this again. Plus four speed until camp. Okay, that's what we're getting out of that. Okay, nice. Right. Uh, Camping-wise, when, when are you going to do that? I think we'll probably do it after this battle here. That concerns loot. Thanks for not stealing it. Appreciative of that. Um, 90, 70. Yeah. Nice one, man, old. People definitely appreciate that. Right, let's jump on through. That that fight, the, the, they, were, they were a few pretty scary fights. Oh, one of these things as well. You are going down. You th this thing has a lot of HP and it needs to go because it's going to start protecting people. Okay. Going to keep buffing people up and healing them. Trying to keep everyone topped up. William, although he's a... Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Although he's <laughs> sort of a lover of the sea, he will still help his team. This is a hard fight. We're going to be taking some bleed here, and we don't have any ways of getting rid of it. It's just going to happen. Really, you can't be missing right now, dude. You just can't be missing right now. Right, you're gone. That's good. You're going to stop protecting people now. Okay. Okay. Right. We're going to go... No! Wrong person. I just realized you're at, well, you're at much lower HP. Don't kill him. Just... Just leave leave the man be. Oh my god, I'm so scared. William! I know you want the season brace, but not, not like this. Not like this, William. Stop bleeding my boys. They can't take it. They can't take it. Okay, good. Stop! Thank God, William, you dodged it. You need to get up front here. It's pushing himself to the back business. Isn't working out for us. What are you going to do, Manold? Okay, you're fine. You're fine. Two damage. He's got 75 pro right now. That's that's very upsetting. Um, heal yourself up again, you cheeky bastard. Always healing yourself. Don't. Thank you, William. Just being what I need you to be right now. That's also a very nice crit heal for everyone. Thank you for dodging that too. Okay, this is this is all going all going well right now. Let's make this again. <laughs> Ronald, don't miss. Please, it's really not the time for you to be missing. It's really not the time. You need to just stop that. Okay. That's good. Bit of healing. Bit of repost. Everyone's weak now. Okay. Y'all should be dead pretty soon here. Not quite yet, but pretty soon. Nice crit. Oh, this is just the scariest and most stressful time. Alright, you're done. Okay, don't bleed us. Nice dodge. And a repost. Okay, we got through it. Oh, what's this? Pet. So, something that's a little confusing about this. I realized there's a pretty cool pet mod out there, but I don't have it installed. So, so where have I got a pet from, you may ask? I don't know. I don't know why I've got a pet, but I'll accept it. I don't know why it exists, but I'll accept it. Okay. Right. Return to some sense of normalcy here. Wow. That was... That was some difficult combat. It was very stressful. William was getting... Was getting rather... Rather close to the edge there. I didn't like it. Right. Uh, let's check our... Okay, this is the boss. Yep. Let's check our um, camping skills. See what we've got. We're only a 25% chance to prevent nighttime ambush. Collect loot from four monsters. Nightly hunt. Interesting. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll try that out. Um. 
By the way, can someone explain to me why things like this and this exist? Like, remove disease is good, but why remove blight? Like, who's camping while blighted and bleed? Like, well, is that like a real common thing at later levels? Or something? Looks like we're not getting uh, any... Hmm. Camping could be a bad idea. I think we should do it anyways. But it could be a bad idea. Right, so first of all, let's check what buffs we can get. Um, now that's fine. That's fine. Party? Yeah, we definitely want that one. You got damage stress, damage stress, crit stress, and crit stress. Okay, that's good. Um, one companion, remove disease. We could try and remove this, but I'm not going to... I'm cold. Okay, Manal's fine. Right, okay. Uh, and then we, we, we've got to try and do this a few times, right? So we've got chance at stress. We're going to lose speed. We've got chance to suffer damage as well. Okay. I reckon we try that one more time. Okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, and then with that two left, let's heal him up. Rest up. We've got a 75% chance to prevent night on ambush. Of course. Why not? 75% chance. Chances in Darkest Dungeon are a lie. Right. Um... Yes, I'm going to do that. It's not a great idea, but I'm going to do it. Please don't kill him. Oh, no. William, please. Stay with us, William. I could bring him off death's door with this, but I kind of need to kill things, right? Right? I think I need to kill things. Please don't. Ah, uh, this... Why? Why did this have to happen? <sighs> this is so bad. This is so bad. Oh, my God. This is so bad. Leave him alone, please. William is... But... I know... Oh, Renault. Oh, Renault. Please. Just, just, just hit things, please. Right, you're gonna have to keep healing because people are low. I know it's lowering your damage a lot, but... Really? Hit for 14? You kidding? Oh, this is terrible. This is actually... That's good, but this... Look how much stress we incurred for that. 75% chance my ass. Worst decision of my life. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, we need that life steal. Right, that was genuinely very awful. Genuinely just, just, that is, that has kind of ruined us. Uh, right, let's reorganize. That, this is really bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Stress levels alone are problematic. Health is by far the, my biggest concern right now. Oh. Right, we do have 17 food, so we can probably heal pe people up quite, quite a lot. Not enough, though. Not enough. Right. Stress levels are by far my biggest concern. That definitely helps out. But holy bloody hell. Of course we get one of these when we don't have anything to do with it. Oh, right. Okay. Let's prepare mentally for this. Okay. Wow. Things went, things went sideways here. Things went sideways. They did not go 
as I wanted them to. The sunken crew is here. 150. I forgot that he did that, to be honest. That is huge. A 41 crit. I love it. Um, yeah, just get back here. You can go up here. There you go. All, all reordered. I can't remember what exactly this guy does. Okay, that's what he does. He grabs people. Doesn't he incur like a lot of stress while he's holding them? Okay, this guy bleeds. I wouldn't have gotten rid of my, my bandages if I knew this guy bled people. God damn it. Oh, you missed as well. Another big crit. We really need to take care of that little that little dude there grabbing him. Please. That was good. Definitely some healing here though. Okay, good. This is this is very scary. I I did not know this guy bled. This this has scared me deeply. Okay, nice stun. That's really, really good. His 82 stress is he has two actions a turn. Good to know. Pushing you to the front isn't awful. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this. Okay, we're getting big hits. We're getting big hits. Just please leave him alone. He's so weak. He's so very weak. We're just we're moving people around a lot here. It's kind of annoying, but it's what we got to do. Don't grab him again. For God's sake. We get kicked in the face again. <sighs> we need crits, really. Okay, he, well, he's probably going to get stress checked here. He's on 98. Drink with the dead. Okay. Oh, my God. Let's... Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Lucky. All hands on deck. That didn't repost us, sadly. Another 25 damage out. We probably should just do it on this guy for the stress relief, but honestly, we need the healing more than anything. We're just going to keep piling on the damage right now. Leave him alone. Thank you. Move him to the front again. Mutiny. Nice resist. We're getting grabbed. And there's the stress check. Manold. Nah. Unfortunate Manold. He got let go off straight away, though. I'm guessing this is this guy's deal. He just stretches you the hell out and then buggers off. Okay. He's low. In fact, he is one hit away from death. There you go. Wow, that was... People have been, have been mentioning that we've been getting overly lucky so to say recently and and not not even in just luck we've just been quite overpowered i think this mission right here proves what some of these higher level level missions are going to do to us in the future like this was only a taste of what could go wrong this this went relatively well considering um much more can go wrong and much more will go wrong in the future oh my god that's really good. Um, oh, we're gonna have to treat that. Okay. Wow. That was that was very that was very 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 tough. Uh, let's just quickly unequip. Go in here. Um, sort by level. Right, William, get rid of that. And Manold, first person to have stress relief in quite a while. Renault, you can actually take some as well, you know. You can do some praying. Right. We have uh, Abomination and Thrall. So, Urku is leveled up. Oh, no, I think Urku's already level 4. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Okay, Urku's leveled up. Nice. Urku is leveled up. Good, good. Which, which version is he? This one, I think? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Goodbye, old Urku. Um, Abomination, also. Leo here. Leo has also leveled up. Well done, Leo. Get rid of that one. 
Awesome. Good, good. Right. Let's uh, let's just check out what we've got in here. This one is no more good to us. Extra damage when guarding. Extra guard duration. Nothing particularly that takes my eye, takes my fancy there. Let's check out these again. We've got Plague Dos Doctor. Not all that good. Abomination. We don't really need another Abomination one. Abolist. Interesting. Vestal. Do you know what? We could make a very interesting melee-based Vestal here. Um, I'm not going to, but we very easily could with this, because um, she's we've we got another melee Vestal thing from um, the courtyard as well. Uh, hmm, Musketeer. That's that's pretty nice. Uh, that's also pretty good. Fragilent gets extra damage while bleeding, received while bleeding on melee attack. Self bleed. Interesting. Um. Musketeer. So we got like a pairing here. These are these these two are like identical, are they not? I think these two are identical, but just for different classes. That's pretty cool. Okay, we've got some decent stuff there, but nothing I want to buy today. But I think that's going to be it. We do have one more diary entry from Jonathan Baker by, again, Shep, um, after the mission, part 38. Uh, I was wondering when I would finally get sent to the courtyard. After coming to the hamlet, I learned of my certain taste for blood. The monsters of the courtyard were certainly bloody. They bled a lot. Very interesting, but yes, we. Uh, this is a good. This is a good day. We, we got we got a lot of stuff done. It was definitely scary. My God, my heart, my actual heart. Holy hell! It's it's been a while since I've been like this, but this really got me. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.